Welcome back to Uncle Todd's video drum lesson. This is number six. I only do four more until I run out of fingers. Okay, as promised, today we're going to move on to some 16th note patterns on our bass drum. We'll also be doing some 8th note patterns, so hopefully you've mastered the last lesson so that we're only taking things up one notch, a little increment. We're going to keep our cymbal hand doing 8th notes. We're going to keep our snare on 2 and 4. We're just going to be messing around with the bass drum today and getting some nice rocking beats going here. Okay, so let's take a look at this beat. And uh, for the top line showing our cymbal, you can see just the straight eighth notes. The second line's our snare drum. The bottom line's our bass drum. And so this beats, um, you can see that dotted line. I, I just added that so you can see that 16th note on the bass drum coming between two and and. So two E and uh, E. Um, same place in the second major. So it's just the same measure repeated twice. So just looking, you can take the snare drum bass drum pattern and you can play that on the snare. So that's what that pattern is going to sound like between your bass drum and your snare drum. And that's what you want to be listening for as you're pra practicing this to make sure you're getting that pattern. Okay, so let's uh, try this beat out and we'll do it at a pretty slow tempo just so you can get the uh, 16th note pattern and hear where it goes and so let's do it around 60 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and okay so that'll do it that's where that that and 2 e and uh, comes in on that and we can do that with a click we can even put the click on 16th notes and you can hear that being said by the voice and the click. Okay, so let's do it again right around 120 beats a minute. So you want that real crisp, clean 16th note in there. That's the goal. Don't play it so fast that it gets sloppy. So you may have to take your time, be patient, don't get frustrated, and work up to that so that you get that nice. Okay, so once you've got that at any tempo, and slow is fine, don't be in a hurry to make these fast, you can move your right hand over to the cymbal and you can work your left foot back in and you can put that at first on just two and four. So that'll be, which is what your hand is doing. So that'll be like this. Let's do one more beat with 16th notes and this one moves the coordination level up a notch. This is a, I think significantly harder beat to play and it's hard to play slow. It's hard to make this sound good. I don't think this beat really works at around 60 beats per minute but I'm going to play it there just so you can hear it and, and um, kind of get the feel for where that foot goes and then we'll uh, move it up to maybe 90 and then 120. And um, just you play it where it's comfortable for you. Don't worry about playing it too slow. If it's comfortable for you around 75 or 90, then play it there. But don't be sloppy. Make sure you play it clean. Okay, here's the beat we're going to work on. I just play it out with my hand. It's one and two, a three and four, one and two, a three and four. So that's the pattern we're going to hear between our snare drum and our bass drum. Okay, and then you can see the little dashes here, so this bass drum note is going to come right after 2, so 2 E and A uh is where that bass drum hits, and then this one is right in between the 4 E and, so it's on the E, the 4 E and A. Uh. 3 and 4 and bit more moderate tempo here. So 
you can hear the beat starting to work a little bit there. And then let's go up around 120 and you'll feel take a different texture. And then uh, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat a little bit and put in a different sound on the drums. So that's kind of when it hits that groove and that 16th notes kind of, kind of have a nice feel to them. Okay, so if you can do that, why are you watching these videos? Just go off. You don't need to watch these. Go ahead and play. Go join a band. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we're going to work on uh, some more 16th notes on the foot, a little more complicated yet, and uh, then we'll probably be done with that. We'll probably move into the linear beats the lesson after that. So I hope you hang around. Hope you keep watching. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you practice, and you can tell on this beat that you need, you're probably going to have to work on these at a couple of different tempos, maybe starting around 75, maybe work your way up to 120. And uh, I can consider them master at that point. All right, go practice. And you know, I ain't got no brand new bags. So come on, snap the bag.